Welcome to the very first part of the Pitman shorthand gram logs. So before starting, I would like to tell if you don't know about gram logs, what are gram logs in shorthand, then I would just recommend you to watch the what are gram logs in shorthand video of the Pitman shorthand course. I've given the link in the description. So let's begin. So first of all, we have this A or N. So to represent A or N, we simply make a dark dot above the line like this. Next we have the, so for the we make our dog dot again, but this time on the line like this. Next we have this all, so all is represented by making a tiny dark stroke like this. And remember this has to be made from upwards to the downwards direction. Next we have two or two, right? So we represent these two by making the tiny dark stroke again, but this time on the line like this. Next we have off. So this is represented by tiny light stroke like this above the line. Next we have two. So this is again represented by making a light stroke, light tiny stroke, but this time on the line like this. Next we have on. So this is represented by again a tiny light stroke like this. Next we have but. So but is again represented by making the tiny light stroke but this time on the line like this all right so next we have this o ought or ought so we represent these three by making a tiny dark stroke like this next we have who so again this is represented by making a tiny dark stroke but this time on the line like this Next we have this and, so this is represented by a tiny light stroke like this above the line and remember this has to be made from the downwards to the upwards direction. Next we have this should, so this is also represented by a tiny light stroke but this time on the line like this and remember this is also has to be made from the downwards to the upwards direction. Alright, so that was all about the part 1 of the Pitman shorthand gram logs. See you in the next part.